What is going on guys, Pat in the shop, and tonight I'm going to show you how a quarter inch pipe thread could potentially save your engine when you have a failure or even just a break in. Let's check. So here's a really important tip for you guys building a small block Chevy, uh, a fresh rebuild. This is especially nowadays when things are so expensive. So just hear me out on this one. The other day I posted a picture on my Instagram of a failed lifter on an engine I dyno probably about a year ago. I did everything right on this engine and checked the lifter bores, uh, ran proper brake in oil, didn't over spring pressure it. The only thing I wasn't there for was the brake in because I was running behind in the shop and the guys on the dyno, uh, I said, go ahead and brake it in. I, I have no reason to believe they didn't brake it in properly. I'm not quite sure why this cam failed. This was actually my first, believe it or not, this is my first flat happy cam that ever failed. Uh, as you can see, the lifter is completely mangled and so is the cam lobe and another cam lobe was showing signs of wear as well. So lots of metal ended up going in the bottom of this engine. Right after I posted the picture, I got some uh, messages and also a few comments on the picture on guys that had similar, similar failures and then up having to do a full rebuild because of metal debris inside, in, got into their bearings and just wiped out their cam and, and uh, main bearings and uh, um, rod bearings. So. I wanted to talk about, again, I have a video about this, the importance of this little plug. And you might be wondering why it's so important. This little plug you can use, this is a quarter inch pipe thread plug. You can use the plug, the oil filter bypass uh, in your, uh, on your filter adapter on your small block Chevy. You're going to ask me, well, why are you going to plug it? What's the purpose of it? If you're unfamiliar, what the bypass does is it bypasses oil basically around the oil filter element. And the idea behind this is if the oil filter was to plug up, that you would get uh, unfiltered oil is better than no oil at all. And I totally agree with that. But the thing is, most guys running hot rods are never going to let their oil filters get to the point where they're going to get plugged. So this is really not an issue for most guys. And most of us are running good filters. It doesn't matter. The issue is with these is they open up too easily. So if you're running a little bit thicker oil, like say like 1040 hot rod oil, uh, the engine's cold, you're, you know, you're giving it a little bit, these open up way too easily. The next thing you're gonna ask me, well if I plug it, am I gonna have any issues? I run a plug bypass in everything I build and I recommend people run a plug bypass at least for break in and maybe to the first oil change and then you can switch it out for a regular bypassing uh, filter adapter. But I run them plugged all the time. Even in freezing cold winter that we have here with thick oil on my truck, I run a plug bypass fil uh, filter adapter. I don't see a bulge filter. I don't see any drop in oil pressure. I don't see any ill effect with running a plugged bypass but you have to run a good filter. If you run some cheapy filter, then you probably want to bypass just in case, you know, you, you start ballooning the filter case or something. I run Baldwin, a Baldwin B6, pretty much on a, most of my small block Chevys. Baldwin filters are good, Wix filters are good. Even if you're running a roller cam, I recommend running a plug bypass because even that cross hatch off the cylinder on a fresh motor, you do get a little bit of a metal filing in the oil just as that cross hatch just comes off the cylinder walls. And this will help any of that cross hatch oil to help anything that's half decently big is gonna get caught in that oil filter and rather than make its way through the bypass directly into your bearings. So. Always a good idea to plug the bypass. Like I said, I made a video about this before, but hopefully that answers any questions. If you're gonna ask me about the lifters, this, I'm not gonna name any names, uh, but the company, it rhymes with uh, Schmomp Spams. I'm not running their lifters anymore. Lately, since actually, since this issue, I've only been running the GM, uh, the Delco lifters with the hardened pad, um, but I don't. <laughs> Make sure you check your lifter boards that they're not egg shaped. Get your machinist to check them and do everything right. But this happens sometimes. So if you can afford it, guys, go roller cam, avoid this issue. But always block that bypass and everything's happy. Run good oil, run good filters. And hopefully, this will save someone's motor out there. That's why I made the video. Anyways, guys, thanks. And I'll see you on the next one.